guys, I got it sticker candy with another banner and another word. So guys, this is another vlog on narcissist. So the topic for this vlog is the narcissist karma. A lot of people may think, you see one thing about a narcissist, they love to, 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 to pretend and they love to put on a facade like everything is all right with them we are the ones we as a super empath are the one who we take time and heal ourselves and stuff like that but with the nerd they paint a different picture as if they are okay and they are living and their life they are blessed and their life is abundant and, and their life and they are living and they are they are having this nice pretty life Meanwhile, we as a super empath, the time we take, we take our time and heal and forgive and just heal and continue work upon ourselves. That is not the narc. The narc is a pretender and they tend to try to pretend very well. But we as a super super empath, we know. We know we can know when somebody when people is pretending and we just basically know. So the narcissist and, and their karma. I will say to people out there who have been through narcissist abuse, first of all, first forgive yourself because for more than in your life, that was what I basically had to, to do to forgive myself and forgive whosoever. Because narcissist is not just about relationship. It can be your family member, your sister or your brother. But what I basically had to do when I find myself in narcissist situation with narcissists, I first forgive myself and then I forgive whosoever narcissist and then just move along, right? So a lot of time, a lot of people who don't really go through their healing process and so more time they will tend feel as if they want revenge or whatsoever. And I'm here to let you know, you see your best revenge is working on you for making people, for making yourself a better you. Remember in the Bible, my child, it said, leave all vengeance unto God. So the minute you forgive yourself and forgive those who hurt you and start work upon yourself, that is the best revenge you can ever give. And so tonight, this topic is about the karma, narcissistic karma. Nothing can make a narcissist happy. So no matter what you say, you move on and you have Take your time and heal yourself and go on and them paint a picture like them happy are so. 99% of the time they are not happy. And a person who is not happy from deep down within themselves and really know themselves, they cannot happy. None at all. And nobody else cannot make another person happy unless them, they are happy deep, from deep within inside. So most times these narcissists put on a facade and paint a show as if they are happy or so. And you probably wondering you know, why is this narcissist not getting their karma? 99% of the time, the narcissist is getting their karma. But because you not probably in their surrounding to see what they they do get their karma. Narcissists never escape them karma yet. Never. But the best thing to know, when God is about to give the narcissist their karma, stay out the way. Whenever they over you, don't go back. Make them receive them karma. Talking from experience. So nothing can make a narcissist happy. Not narcissist happy. A narc is easily bored. They are always searching for happiness because they don't know what it is to be happy. They don't have no peace. And because they don't know happiness, that is why they usually hate us, who, us as, super, as a super empath. They hate to see other people happy because they are not. That is why they always try to trigger people and try to put people below them because basically generally speaking a person who is fully aware of themselves and fully happy and at peace with inside themselves they don't go around trying to belittle people or trying to put down people and this is basically what a narcissist does they don't know peace they don't know happiness and so they try to make other people like miserable because they don't know peace and that is why they always try to trigger you because they don't know joy, they don't know peace, they don't know happiness. When a narcissist come back in your life, I'm talking to my males and my females, when a narcissist try to come back in your life, 
they try to come back not because they love you honey they don't come back because they are sincerely sorry and i'm talking from experience i have grown so much on my healing journey and it takes a lot to really pull yourself up after coming out and of a narcissist abuse being a survivor and a super empath it takes a lot of work and where i am at now i must have i must say it took me a lot of work to where I am at now. Thanks be to God. And so I just want to let bring the awareness and to let people know whenever a narcissist over you, over you in the sense of trying to come back, they don't normally come back because they are sincerely sorry for what they have done. They don't come back because they, they love you. They don't come back because they want to make it right. They don't come back because they are sorry. They basically basically come back, try to come back because they find it hard to replace you. We, as a survivor of narcissistic abuse, we are so, the more genuine and loving and kind and patient person. And so 99% of the time, a narcissist may think they can easily replace someone who has true value and really love from deep within. It is the hardest thing to replace. So guys, I'm more, I want to bring awareness. Whenever these people come back and try to over you, they come back because they fail to replace you. They come back to see if you are still the dummy, the steep, still the stupid person that they used to know. They come back most of the time because they see God has, is about to shift you. God is about to bring you on another path. They come back because they see your breakthrough is right around the corner. And most of the time, these nurses don't want you to get your breakthrough. They want you to keep stuck. Mm -hmm. They want you to keep stuck. I want you to be belittled or below them. Use these signs, my females and males. When them come back, don't eat to them over. Them just come back to try to draw you in a deeper ditch and try to try to carry you below them right so they don't come back for your best interest they come back to see if you are still the stupid dumb dumb that they used to know don't be played don't let them play you don't let them they play these silly billy games on you to stop you or block you from your blessing and to keep you from your kingdom spouse or your kingdom wife let them stay with whosoever they thought was better than you and most of the time, these in our club tell, tell, tell them um, survivors, people will come out of a situation with them that they can't find better, they have better, whatever. Make them stay with them better, or the greener grass, so them feel better over there. Continue for work on you, continue for be focused. Set your eyes on the prize, set goals, dreams, aspirations, and achieve them. Make them stay with whosoever them say they did better than you. Continue work up on yourself. Do not go back. Peace out.